Hi everyone, hi Nick. I have another uh, journal to share with you today. This uh, that I just finished, but I think it's um, dry enough that I can do a flip. Um, this one is made from another um, Artie Mays kit called Timeless Flowers. Um, it's eight by six, or eight, sorry, eight and a half by six with a one and three quarter inch spine. There are six sewn in signatures, and I covered my really crappy sewing with some um, vintage lace. It's two two different kinds. There's one that, that's not going to show up on the camera because this is off white cardstock and it's off white lace, but there's a wide piece and then a narrow piece that's more of like a ecru, which is not showing up very well on the camera. And I also put one of these ring thingies, I don't even know what they're called. It's got a brad through it that has a ring and I made a fluffy tassel thing out of lace and um, seam binding and that gets just pinned on with a bulb pin so that can be removed. Um, it's blank on the back. I didn't put a, put a closure on it because it seems to be staying closed really well and there's room so um, and it's got the floating spine so it's real really easy to write in and and it will accommodate. Extra bits and pieces. Um, for the cover there's uh, some sheet music. Um, this was just a piece of paper that I had in a pad. Um, Tim Holtz cards, uh, chipboard sentiment says, remember this. Did I got my sewing machine out and cooperating, so um, I tried to take it completely apart. Um, so I did some stitching. Um, these are Tim Holtz acetate butterflies that I've had forever. I put those on there um, on the top. There, now you can see it. On the top, I used, for top tabs, I used little bits and pieces, little tickets and whatnot from the kit. And on the side is, um, these are all attached to white seam bindings, all attached to paper clips. So let's just get, oh, and there's 84, yeah, 84 pages, no, not 84 pages, 120 pages front and back. And this kit is called, um, from Artie Mays, it's called Spring Blossoms. Um, book plate. There's a lot of stickers in here. Um, no stenciling, just, um, just stickers and stitching. And tags and things from the kit. This one comes with a little envelope. Did a little collaging with stickers and so forth. Um, made some side pockets that I collaged on Tim Holtz um, ephemera piece, and that's from the kit. I sewed these um, pockets instead of gluing them. And we have an envelope from the kit which I did put something in. There's a journaling card there. Another fold over pocket and this is a um, repair tag that I collaged on and then sewed around. And um, the tickets from the kit, just glued them across the um, sewed some lace on, glued it up at the top to make a top tuck. There's an envelope from the kit with the tiniest binder clips I have ever seen in my life. And this has a ticket a tag inside. Clip this shut with this. If I can get my fingers to make it work. These are so tiny. They're Tim Holtz. Another tag from the kit, a sticker. That's the first signature. Another journaling card. Not I think these were supposed to be envelope um like a file folder card. Um but I um, left it flat, sewed it out, sewed down the side, and then I realized I shouldn't have done that because I was gonna stick it down. So I put it down with some washi and it flips over. So you can journal underneath it. So you don't lose the whole page. And then we have a tip out, fold out, flip out, whatever you want to call it. This was just a um, out of a 
paper pad. Another tag from the kit. And a little, come on, come off the paper clip without ripping. A little, little envelope that I left empty. Top tuck with a ticket and oh, that's the tuck. That's a double with that, with the banner, ticket tucked under, journaling card that I made into a tuck spot, and then this is a Tim Holtz ephemera with a sticker. Small tag, and a ticket, and you can hear my dog barking, I'm sure. Sticker. Um, side tuck. This is a vintage letter. Um, it's postmarked from 19, 1945, so you know, right at the might be the end of World War II. It is genuine antique and a journal card. Got a little little tag. This is a sticker, um, so it can go anywhere. Another uh, collaged repair tag. Made a belly band out of a strip of the tickets. It came with the kit. And then this is a trifold. Put that under there. And then we have another side pocket, which I collaged on. This is one of those uh, butterfly stickers. That just ripped a page out of a book. Journal card there. More stickers. That's a long journaling card with an envelope. Another side pocket with a avocado dyed um, index card that I collaged on. Right on that side. Another envelope from the kit with a journaling card upside down. Another card, tag, side pocket, which I stitched on and then upside down. Nope, that was the right way, these two. Another side pocket, which is collaged, and another avocado dyed index card, collaged on that side, blank on that side. Another tag, and another ticket, another pocket with a tag, another tag here, journaling card, top tuck made with three banners. Little envelope. Tim Holtz um, ephemera with a sticker. Oops. <clears throat> and then there's another one of these. It flips over. And there's another flip out collaged on that part of it. But you still have lots of writing room. Stay straight and in frame. Sticker. with a ticket and a tag. Another tag. Another sticker. Um, three tickets made a top tuck. And there's another avocado dyed um, index card with a collage on this side, blank on that side. There's another collaged repair tag. And a tag from the kit. Another fold out. And a uh, side tuck that I stitched some lace on. And this is another Tim Holtz ephemera cardstock. Sewed across the bottom, put a couple of stickers. And that's the back. 
So this will be in the shop, Pumpkin's Junk to Journals. You can hop over there and check it out. And um, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye.